welcome in to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. We've got a couple different topics to go over in this morning's update. We'll try to see if XRP set some kind of support structure as we came down below the rising channel support, but now it pulled back up over 52 cents. So this could push, you know, in a, in a different direction here, but we have to take a look to see exactly what's going to transpire here. We'll go over some reading in and out of reading during the technical analysis. We'll cover XRP and Bitcoin and we'll see where we stand by the end. We'll form a logical and an educated uh, observation here after we get through all the information and don't let your emotions dictate what's going to happen here stay positive positively over negativity i don't want to see any negativity i like to see the uh, lovers not the haters um as we continue to advance in this community we're going to go over this as well today xrp price prediction because ripple moved 100 million xrp does that mean that we're going to be moving up or do we have a price drop coming we've got xrp whales as well making little moves here stacking up as we had these little drops um because uh whales did buy the dip so we'll take a look at that as well i forgot to put this up here so i wanted to put this up here now but the xrp whales are buying the dip and we'll take a look exactly how much uh the whales are buying <clears throat> during that roughly 32 percent drop we had so those are some of the things I want to read over. And then the other thing I want to read today as well, so we got a little bit of reading to do this morning, is Ripple CTO debunks. We don't need XRP rumors. So if you don't know, XRP or Ripple decided to replace XRP to U.S. clientele with USDT. So on their on-demand liquidity sector. So that's something that was breaking yesterday with news. So we'll go over that for anybody who doesn't know as well. Please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update as it's been very difficult for me to push my content around the last couple of weeks, well, last couple of years, but especially the last couple of weeks, it's been shadow banned pretty hard. So if you could hit that like button, it would greatly, greatly help me push through the analytics and it'll help my reach on YouTube so more and more people can find this beautiful community because I believe we have a lot to offer. So with that being said, I'm going to do the intro and then we'll get into it. Good morning. 10:22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, April 25th, 2024. I'm XRP future millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as we can see here, we had the DXY pop up very quickly this morning to 105 spot 70 or uh, 106 and some change. But as we can see, it's reversed back down. It came up to 106 basically 106 on the nose and now it's back to 105 spot 73 so it very well could be reversing back down gold and silver was putting in what looked bearish but it, it seems like it's a little bit of a fake out here because it, it's trying to bounce back up but we still need to pay attention to the fact that it's not bullish unless we can somehow get over that 2334 area so it's still within a wide area of consolidation but that's that's not what i wanted to talk about today XRP is down 0.89%. A little bit of a recovery from the overnight hours. We can see what looks like if this could play out properly. A pretty defined W reversal here. So if this plays out properly, we need to stay over 52 cents. And current times, 52.1 cent. On the top side, 52 cents on the break back below. So if we can get back above that, then we should start to be pushing back up towards these upper areas. The breakthrough points, we could always come back up and retest 54 cents. But that remains to be seen what we're going to do. We're set up in a, in a position now to where we could have a nice um, kind of like a rebound effect here if this just continues. We've got an engulfing candle to the top. Well, not even. It's a reversal candle and engulfed completely to a new uh, section here. Now, if we get some continuation in the hourly, we got 35 minutes left. If we get a close over 52.20, that would be huge. And you could start to try to reverse this narrative. So just pay attention here this morning. 52 cents is what you're going to want to hold. If we're over 52 cents, it starts to open up that rebound to 53.8 or 54 cent retest. And then if you break above that, then you can have higher ambitions. Now, if we do lose this 52 cents, 
It's just something we should pay attention to this morning, just in case. Um, you've got that handle support just underneath. We did not lose this handle support at 50.7 cents on this drop as we came down to 51.3 cents. So now the question is, is are we going to have any kind of rebound? We do have a dot cross in the uh, one hourly, as we can see pretty clearly, 20 coming through the 200. 50's getting close as well. So now it's, can we have this reversal and then swing back around and push out? Or does this get a rejection here and then it comes through, gets rejected, and then we have some bigger mess to uh, deal with here going forward? That's a question that we are going to have to answer here in the next couple of days or so. Right now, that daily candle's engulfing to the downside, so that's not exactly the best news that we could have seen here. Now, it could exhaust itself. We've got nine hours left in this candle. It came down to that low of 51.3. Now, if it starts to push back up and we find ourselves pushing back above, it would have to come up pretty significantly because you'd want to get back over that 53.8 cent and start pushing to the top side. But right now, this is looking bearish. You have this death cross in the daily. You've gotten rejected by the 20-day. It's engulfing back down. So unless we can find some real momentum here, and that's what we're trying to seek right now, it's not looking good. So we need to come up, and at very least, we need to come up here and get back above 54 cents. That's what we need to do. We'll see if we can carry any momentum into today, because it looks like after some significant drops, we could have that kind of... Uh, consolidatory or reversal kind of day. I'm looking at the DXY very closely at 105 spot 70 to see how that reacts. The total crypto market cap this morning is at 2.295 trillion, down 0.53%. And this is acting in a weird fashion here because one of two things can happen here. This came up, came down. Now it could come around here and try to create something like this or it swung down so hard. Now it could come up and then we could start to see some kind of reversal recovery here. I'd be interested to see if it's going to do something like this on the total market cap and then come back up. But it, this all remains to be seen of exactly how this is going to play out. I'm going to delete this so that it's not confusing. But this is what we theorized yesterday that we fell into something like this. And we said, could it be a pennant flag consolidation? Is this just a bearish reverse or is a bullish consolidation? Like that's what we're trying to figure out right now. If it does come through and we can't find any kind of holding or any kind of footing, which we can see in the hourly, we have a potential reversal candle. So I'm paying attention to all of these very closely because you can see we're at in the hourly according to the relative strength index. If it did reverse here, you could see a rather healthy reversal because it did come back down. And it reset this pattern. So it could technically bounce off here and roll back up to 2.58. But that's going to be a very, very hard task for it to just do that. So we got to watch for these micromanaging of this pattern, of these patterns, to see if there's any opportunity for this to actually reverse. Like I said, XRP and took it's back over 54 cents. It's kind of a moot point. It's in a it's kind of in the dead zone. Um, and these are the bearish consolidation zones if we can't break back over. Bitcoin's down 587 points, 63,660. It was down farther. It's had a nice uh, pushback. It was down to 62,740. Now it's come up about 1,000 points roughly. And we're looking to see if we get rejected up here at 64,643 if it pulls back up, which it looks like it's starting to try to put a reversal in here. Um... And just like we're seeing in the rest. If it does, it's going to start looking something like that. So we need to see. This is a very key resistance line here, though. If that holds, that's a problem. So 64,600 area. If that holds as resistance, it's an issue. If it breaks it down, well, we could be showing signs of some small, small reversals. But we're still in the bearish zone. So don't get fooled by emotion just because you might see a little green. It's got to break some key areas that we've already talked about. Let's get into some reading. So XRP price prediction as Ripple moves 100 million XRP. So whale transactions spark investor interest and market speculation. Legal uncertainties with the SEC significantly sway XRP market sentiment. Technical analysis shows potential for price reversal of support holds. Everything we've been seeing this morning. Axel price prediction. 
XRP has recently experienced a notable dip in its value after a bearish breakout. Currently, the XRP price holds at 61.13. It meant 51.13, with a dip of 3% over the past 24 hours, indicating a downward trend. The recent bearish trend has erased all the gains XRP has made earlier in the week. XRP has experienced an 11% surge in trading volume, reaching $1.5 billion, sparking considerable excitement amongst crypto investors. As reported by Corn Market Cap, it's, it holds the sixth position in market cap ranking with a total of $28.61 billion. So this is the speculation here. Throughout the past week, with a generally cautious sentiment in the market, XRP's value fluctuated between 47 and 56 cents. The altcoin saw a modest 7% rise following the Bitcoin halving event. However, the price began to fall on April 23rd in reaction to Ripple's recent legal filings with the SEC, which include a hefty $2 billion in proposed penalties. Ripple said that they acknowledged that they would pay up to $10 million. So a fraction, not even close to what the SEC has, but that was their redaction or their their response back to them. They said that they'd be willing to pay $10 million in fines, not $2 billion. The decline erased Monday's gains in the community reacted to news of Ripple's planned stablecoin and their legal counter to the SEC's hefty fine proposal. In line with broader market trends, most digital currencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, have seen a downturn now trading below 64000 and 3100 respectively. If the market holds firm at $0.52 cent support level, investors could drive the price toward the $0.70 cent resistance within the week. Success here might set the stage for XRP to target the $1 mark soon, and soon after. Conversely, if sellers intensify their efforts, XRP could see a decline to the $0.50 cent support mark. A further decline under this pressure could bring the price down to $0.45, cents, signaling a sharper market pullback. This scenario would highlight a significant shift in market dynamics. Ripple has recently initiated notable transaction, moving $100 million XRP value to $52.81 million to a private wallet. This activity is part of a trio of large XRP transfers totaling 150 million coins that have caught the attention of Whale Alert, a platform that monitors blockchain transactions. In related news, an unidentified wallet R4WF7H4RZN known to actively participate in the cryptocurrency market sent 28.27 million XRP equivalent to 15.1 million to Bitstamp exchange. Additionally, the same wallet transferred 21.92 million XRP worth approximately 11.74 million to the Bitso exchange. These transfers to exchanges could signal rising selling pressure for the token which might drop further to 30 cents before another recovery begins. The relative strength index RSI hovers around 41.97, suggesting a lack of momentum neither up nor down. However, it is edging closer to oversold territory which could indicate potential for a reversal. The moving average convergence divergence MACD shows the MACD line slightly above the signal line, interpreted to be a bullish signal. Still, both are trending downward near the zero line indicating weak momentum and possibly possibly a bearish sentiment among traders. And then let's get into this news about Ripple CTO debunks. We don't need XRP rumors. And this is in regards to Ripple switching from XRP to USA clientele on the on-demand liquidity sector for ODL. And they switched those clients to USDT. So there's been some speculation on the how much Ripple really needs XRP. But just remember, in the rest of the world, it still uses XRP for the ODL. Um, but anyhow, that's uh, that's the scoop there. Please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. If you do appreciate this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the over 21,500 subscribers. Look in the video description below and our pinned comments. If you want to trade XRP with no spot or both the lowest spot and lever trading fees in the USA, no VPN to trade, so you don't have to feel like a criminal just to trade XRP. And we need to get it set up now for this potential rebound if it happens or if there's a further dip so that you have the proper exchange. Don't get stuck to the exorbitant of fees like Uphold and many others. And don't go down like the lights of Kraken and Coinbase and Binance and Uphold. Every time we have volatility, it stays up. So take a look at that in the pinned comments and video description below. Or 
If you are appreciating what I do and you want to join Tom's Army as a way to pay it forward, I'd greatly appreciate it as we're hurting for new members and donations as a whole. So if you do appreciate what I do and you understand the exorbitant amount of time I put in, consider sending one YouTube super chat per month um, as it is really needed. So Ripple CTO debunks rumors of XRP's redundancy amid company's announcement of its own stablecoin. In a recent development, David Schwartz, the CTO at Ripple, addressed concerns raised by some members of the XRP community regarding the necessity of XRP in light of Ripple's latest venture into stablecoin territory. Earlier this month, Ripple made headlines by unveiling its own dollar peg stablecoin set to be issued later this year, backed by the U.S. dollar deposits, short-term treasury bonds, and other cash equivalents. The token marks a significant milestone in Ripple's expansion efforts. Initially deployed as an ERC-20 standardized or standard token, it promises to enhance the efficiency and stability of transactions within the ecosystem. Amid the buzz surrounding the stablecoin announcement, questions arose regarding the role of XRP in Ripple's future payment solutions. Addressing these concerns, David Schwartz emphasized the strategic importance of, XRP's in the comp- of XRP in the company's vision. Contrary to speculation suggesting redundancy, Schwartz clarified that the introduction of a stablecoin does not diminish the significance of XRP in facilitating seamless cross-border transactions. And this is David Schwartz from his verified X account, formerly known as Twitter. The idea is to get people using payment software that can settle with XRP. There's no reason for them to not settle with XRP where it works best. It would be kind of silly to try to get people to use a solution where it's inferior. Where XRP works best, we don't want any barriers to people using it and getting the best experience. Where XRP does not work best, we don't want people using it just to work, make us happy and suffering an inferior experience or worse economics. Swartz highlighted the pivotal role of payment software capable of settling with XRP, underscoring its superiority in certain scenarios. He emphasizes Ripple's commi- commitment to providing users with the best possible experience Leveraging XRP where it excels while acknowledging its limitations in other con- and contexts. Schwartz remarks serve to debunk any notions of XRP's diminishing relevance within the X- Ripple uh, ecosystem. Instead, he emphasized the importance of ensuring that users have access to the most suitable payment methods for their needs, whether it be XRP or new stablecoins. So that's what I wanted to read this morning. We already touched into the XRP whales movements as well. So the main thing I want to leave you here because I want to put this update out in the next couple minutes. Make sure you pay attention. The first level is 52 cents. If for whatever reason we can't continue to hold this, the next level down would be 507. That did not give way on this push down. Um, But we do have what looks like the start of a reversal candle here. So now if we can get a close over this 52 cent mark, especially over this 52 one mark, in the next 21 minutes, this could be the start of a reversal to at least retest near 52 and a half, even 53 cents. But ultimately, it hasn't retested this breakdown point yet. So to me, it looks like it could come back and back test around 54 or 53 six if this holds. Unless you see 52 cents break, we should be coming up to about 53 seven or 54 cents. So a short term reversal, nothing major. The U.S. dollar currency index is starting to move up. Gold, like we said yesterday, looked like it was going to have a sneaker reversal back up, even if bearish. And now we've broken over this resistance line. And it looked like a sneaky inverse head and shoulders here. And now you should be anticipating a move to 2369, potentially. And then with B2 gold, as we know, we bought back at 252. Nothing majors happened. And I had a stop loss at 248 in case it did fall back through this area. Well, not... It's a limit uh, order, but I'm looking for this first retest at $2.63. And then if it could come up harder, it could end up being a more substantial move. But that's why I had bought back in. Um, And I have 2,600 shares. So that's a pretty substantial amount that I own. So it's good to see that gold did push up like this because I was really speculating real hard that that's what was going to happen. And uh, we're right on the money with that. We were right on the money with that. Now we just have to make sure, like I said yesterday, so if you're excited on the initial move, that's great. But now we have to make sure that it hasn't put in a reversal just to get rejected up here. Because then it could just be a right arm. So pay attention every... (laughs) 
excuse me, pay attention to everything I'm saying across all markets. Please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this live. And don't skip any of this. If you have to go back and watch this again, make sure you pay attention to all levels. Have a blessed morning. And if you made it until the end, hashtag be better, do better in the comments.